Hi there, my name is Camillo and today we are at the Mobile One Sussex Racing Garage. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the RS Pro thermometer kit by RS Components, specifically the RS51 thermometer kit. But firstly, what is a thermometer kit even used for? Most, if not all, production facilities have a method or two of temperature management. This is to ensure that components are always working at their optimum temperature. If unexpected or high variations in temperature occur, it can signal the operators or engineers that something may be wrong. For example, knowing the working temperature of a shaft in a motor and seeing a sudden increase in temperature could potentially mean that there is a shaft misalignment or that the bearing may be ending its life cycle. Here at Sussex Racing, we're dealing with internal combustion engines, which produce a lot of heat. Hence, having something like this will help us determine whether some components are working at the optimum temperature and whether something may be going wrong or if everything is as it should be. To facilitate this, RS Components offers the RS51 thermometer kit. Inside the box, you get the following components. The thermometer itself, which has many different functions, such as a hold function, which freezes any value that you get. This is quite useful if you have a reading that may disappear quickly or you have a very high reading that you want to monitor. It also has degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit options, significant figure options, and a max button, which displays the maximum reading that was found in that reading session. It comes with a plastic protective case, should you drop it, and it has a folding leg to hold it in place. Additionally, you can hang it up with nails like this, if you're putting it on a workbench. As well as this, it comes with a belt clip. To apply the belt clip, you have to firstly remove the plastic protective case. Then you can slide the clip in it and put it on your belt. Unfortunately, this means that you can't use a protective case, but if you have it on your belt, it's protected. The kit also comes with a multi-purpose type K and type T thermocouple. It has a coil cable that stretches just over a meter. It also has a protective tip for the thermocouple itself to avoid it breaking and making it last a longer time. This connector is great for measuring low readings such as in cryogenics. It can read temperatures between minus 50 degrees Celsius and up to 250 degrees Celsius. It's also made out of stainless steel 316 food grade, which makes it safe during culinary applications. The kit also comes with a very basic K-type thermocouple, which can be used for many different scenarios, including submersion. Bear in mind when connecting the thermocouple to the thermometer, there are two different sizes of connections, a thin one and a thick one. And when you put it in, take care not to force the thick clip into the thin one because it may break easily. So before we go and use the device, we need to calibrate it. It should come calibrated already. I'm pretty sure this one does. But firstly, you put the connector in, you turn the thermometer on, you wait 30 seconds for it to warm up, and now it should be working. Also, don't forget that RS Components offers a professional calibration service should you find out that your thermometer device is not calibrated properly. Our first test subject is going to be a very complicated piece of engineering that has changed the lives of millions of people since 1891, and that is the mighty kettle. <laughs> okay, so the kettle has now boiled. And we can use the probe now with the protector taken off. It's a surface probe. We can actually touch the surface of the kettle. And you can see the thermometer shows a reading of roughly 88. And if you wanted to, we could hold it there. So we can take a note of the reading. It is a surface probe, but it's also a submersion probe. So what we're going to do, place the thermocouple inside it giving us a reading of roughly 90, 94, which is as expected because the boiling point of water is roughly 100 degrees. So that's it, let's try it with something else. So that is all from me. Thank you for watching. I hope it was very useful and happy measuring.